In this last tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Revolve tools. Let's make a new document again, and we're going to be working with the 3D Revolve. Now, to use this tool, um, you can create something as simple as an oval or a rectangle, and you can actually use this tool, but you'll see that this is not the most exciting version of it. So if I go to 3D Revolve, you'll see that I can revolve that particular object which is kind of cool. Now one of the things that's kind of fun is that you can change the angle of revolve so you'll see that it's not rotated a full 360 degrees but at this point is only rotated um, 216 so typically we're gonna have it go all the way to 360. Now we can also do offset from the side and you'll see that changes that object quite a lot when we do that offset. Be aware for things like this. Do you notice how when I had it at just the right place, I'm getting some funkiness right there? So just be aware that you have to rotate this the right way for it to show the shadows correctly. Or you would have to adjust your lighting to get that to work right. And sometimes it's just not going to work well. And it's about the angle somehow that it is there in Photoshop or Illustrator rather. So there, now it seems to work fine at the angle that it's currently at. And it's giving me all my shadows and everything else the way that I want it to be. And of course, we can always create more than one light to give it a little bit more extreme look and change our blend steps if we notice too much blending errors in our object. So we have my ob I have my object there, and that's created. Looks pretty good. Notice it's pretty slow to render. So um, you, you need to be aware that this is a pretty slow rendering um, tool. Anyway, um, there are other ways to use it as well. If I turn on my grid and snap to it, this is a really great way of doing something like a wine glass. Let's start with the pen tool, or even better, I'm going to show you a quick way to do it, which um, I haven't done much of before in front of you, but hey, it's kind of it works. So actually, I can use the pen tool, and I'm going to just click and drag and create points and there's my different points that I've just created. Oh, that should go all the way back to the center hopefully. So I'm going to take that back to the center point. So you can see that I've kind of made a quick profile, just a very quick profile of what a wine glass could look like. If I need to smooth these edges, you can actually select the object, then go to the Smooth tool, and click and drag over those objects, and you can smooth your angles a little bit, which is kind of fun. Now be aware that it's not, you know, a super amazing tool, but it can do some pretty cool things. So it's made it smoothed out just a little bit. It's better for you, of course, to draw the, the things yourself. Anyway, I've got my nice little green glass here, or a green profile of glass. Now I'm going to go up to my effect, 3D Revolve. Click on Preview, and you'll notice right now it went from the left-hand edge, but I can change it to the right edge, and now I have myself a glass. So you can do a lot of things with this um, tool and you create all sorts of different objects. Now do be aware that you can map art to this as well, but it's going to be a little bit harder to do so um, depending upon how it's been revolved. But you can do some pretty interesting things with it. You can see there's actually the whole surface. There is probably, I guess, the bottom, which we can't see right now, but it would be applied to the bottom. So there it is. Um, you can do some interesting things. It's just hard to apply it across the shape because the shape is so distorted. The less distorted your shape, of course, the more that this will work. And you'll see that in other tutorials that you're going to do. So that's just an introduction to all the tools, the 3D tools of Illustrator. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy.